Yo, so what's going on lagging there, guys? My name is Poland, and I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions of Star Wars Battlefront. I've spent quite a few hours the last few days playing this game, experiencing it, and I've got to say I've been having a lot of fun. The beta didn't even scratch the surface, man. It didn't even give us a fair taste. I mean, it was more like it put it in the microwave, nuked it for 30 seconds, and forgot all about it and got cold. The beta was not even fair justice to this game. And because of that, I initially was like, eh, I didn't even think I was going to buy the game. I didn't want to like it and blah, blah, blah. Because, to be honest, it was just kind of like a, it was too casual. A few weeks later, it looks like it hit adulthood. Man, comes out in all its curvy goodness. The full release is here. Now we have availability for all of these really, really cool game types and a lot of fun. I could sit here and try my hardest to dissect this game, pick it apart, and try to find flaws with it, and I can't. And this is because it's going back to the roots of shooters. Now, I can juggle between third person and first person. I'm not talking that. I'm talking the fact that it's going with the simplicity formula. It's a casual game, and when you have very limited things in your game, there are very limited chances for you to mess up and screw the game up. And snipe! Did you see Mr. Peter Cottontail get clipped like that? It's incredible. So, you know, when you have a game that's about cooldowns, whether or not you're talking your abilities, your grenades, your rifles, we're talking about actual overheating your weapons, when you have just simplicity... In the core mechanics of your game, you have a very easy to balance game. When you're trying to snipe people across the map and your son gets in the way, look at this guy. Can you move, please? So, I, I have to I have to be honest. I really was not intending to pick up this game. Now, I've actually played the game. I've had the full game. I see what it's like with the new equipment in there. I see what it's like with all the various different types of characters, the hero versus villains. I really like the whole theme. I like the way that the game types work. A lot of them are really, really fun. Some of them are small, you know, kind of like 6v6. Some of them are actually full-scale 40-player blowouts, and that's fun. So if you want hectic chaos, fighting in the jungle, open maps like what I'm doing right now, you have that availability to you. But if you want to just go out there and fight in ties and, you know, vehicle combat, that's available to you. If you want to do hero things only, you can go do hero things only. There's a lot of variety in this game, and I think that's the biggest selling point for this game is even games like Battlefield has failed to pick that up. Yeah, some people play Conquest, some people really love Rush, but they have failed to get, you know, a handful of really, really, really delectable game types in the rotation. This one does a great job at it. So, what I love so much about this game is that not, o not only is it casual, is it fun, and at first I was not actually all for it, but I think they did it right when the full release came out because it all functions well and goes together well. But what I like so much about this game is it's also good for all ages. This is the kind of game that I grew up on. This is the kind of game that I would love my kid to play. It's perfect for all ages, sexes, and everything. And that's what I like so much about it. It's not gory. There's no crazy headshots and blood. There's no cursing. There's no over-the-top customization. Nothing hard to learn. It is just pure simplicity. And that's what I think is so amazing about the game. So, yes, you know... As I said before, I wasn't a big fan of the game in the beta. They didn't give us enough to make an actual opinion on, and that was kind of their fault. But after playing the full release, I love the game, I'm playing the game, I'm having fun, and I'd love to hold on to this game and the future releases of this for when my kids are old enough to play. And they're going to have a blast with it. So overall, first impressions of this game, I'm having fun. That's the verdict. I'm having fun. I don't know where that's going to be six months from now. I do know I want to hold on to this game until my kids are old enough to play it, because this is kind of the gateway game that I want my kids to play before, you know, they're just way too old or they're into the more hardcore stuff. And, you know, just, it comes down to it. Do you have fun playing the video game? Yes, I do. And that should be the main and sole reason why you buy a video game. And that's what I like about it. So, yeah, I can't sit here and tell you crazy things because there's no crazy customization. There's no over-the-top anything. It's just a, a traditional old-fashioned go in there, shoot the things, crash into a giant lava pool and get killed by yourself, which is really unique because I haven't seen a lot of people with that gamer tag. And it's just, it's fun, man. It's fun, simply put. So, yes, uh, I had a change of heart with this game. Really do like it, though. I, I really do. If this game is, is your thing, if you love casual games, you like simplicity, this game is just for you. I'd recommend you to pick it up. Again, it may not be super try-hard like a lot of the games are nowadays, but there are tons of games out there that do that. That's why this one stands alone. It's because not a lot of people are actually taking the time to go back and play and build casual games or go back and build World War II games or anything like that. So I think it's refreshing to actually have something like this. So I would recommend my friends that love those type of games to pick this up. Again, you can try hard this game. You can full out try hard, learn how to do it. You have to lead the shots. It can become a complicated game, but it's also extremely easy for even the most novice of players to pick up and have a lot of fun playing. So that's the verdict. I like the game. It's fun. It's casual goodness.
But this is where we say goodbye. I'll have some more gameplays coming up soon, including some live commentary. So stay put, stay tuned, and I will get you guys with another video sometime in the next couple days. Have a great evening, guys. Thanks for watching.